Hello, my name is Alexis. The wonderful man behind the camera is my husband, Alex, and today we'll be taking you on a tour of our 28-foot tiny house. We'll begin in the kitchen. We have beautiful granite countertops, and we have an L-shaped counter, which is wonderful because we have two separate spaces for cooking and prep. Additionally, we have a cutting board that fits into the sink, so if you ever find yourself short of room in the kitchen, you have some extra right here. This very easily pops out and reveals our beautiful stainless steel sink. We also have a drying rack that custom is custom made to fit inside of it that can also come out. We just usually keep it inside since we're always doing dishes. We have some custom made cabinetry. These cabinets are, um, they all measure 16 by 18 inches deep, which is wonderful. They're very spacious. This is where we keep all of our glassware. And then coming over here, we have our pantry. Um, and then we keep some more pantry staples on top. We have so slow close doors, which we love. Um, one of the first tiny house tours we watched, someone had slow clothes for all of their cabinetry and spent a lot of time highlighting that. So I just want to really highlight the slow clothes. Can't even hear it. Um, underneath we have six drawers that all pull out. And then we also have two cabinets on the bottom as well on each side. And then we also have some pretty typical, um, sorry, we have child locks, pretty typical um, under the same kitchen storage. It's really awesome and deep, so we're able to fit a lot of um, our utility things underneath there. Moving this way, we have our efficiency range stove oven. Um, while it is smaller, we've been able to cook everything that you could cook in a normal, traditionally sized um, oven. Um, from roasting veggies to sourdough, we've been able to do it all. We have a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, which fits more, has more than enough room to fit food for two adults and our two kids. Um, we utilize storage on top of the fridge as well as underneath the fridge. And then we also utilize storage on top of all of the cabinets as well. Uh, over here we have our coat, coat cabinet, I guess. Um, we have some hooks hanging and this is where we hang our coats and our bags. Um, it's obviously much more full in the winter. It's summertime right now, so we don't have that many. We have had dowels in here before and had coats hanging across. We've hung floating shelves in here. Um, it really is just a, a big open space that you can set up to um, serve your family however it's going to serve your family best. Um, and there's also some more storage underneath. The storage underneath both the fridge and the coat closet are 23 inches deep, so it's very deep storage. Um, we generally keep our produce under here as well as some extra diapers for our baby. Um, here is that coat closet that I was talking about. Very spacious and deep. Again, a really awesome space that you can customize to best fit you and your family's needs. Underneath it, we have that awesome storage as well as underneath the fridge. And now we're going to go into the bathroom. Inside here, we have a relatively standard size bathroom. When we did a lot of research before moving into a tiny house, something that we read a lot was that um, having really small bathrooms is something that you get tired of really quickly. So it was really important to us to have a bathroom that felt like a normal sized bathroom, which this does. Um, inside of it, we have our sink, which we have our water fil filter attached to. And then we have um, three drawers that pull out as well as another cabinet. And then we have pretty typical again, underneath the sink um, storage. We have a full size washer and dryer as well as a stand up shower. And then our composting toilet, which we really love. Next, I will show you one of our favorite features in the kitchen, which is the pop-up table that we have. This is where we eat dinner, play board games, do pretty much anything that you would do on a normal table. 
If you asked our toddler what his favorite spot in the house is, it would be likely this seat right here. This is the most coveted seat in the house. While we do have two separate stools for sitting as well, the um, stair seat is really the, the place that everyone fights over. Um, the table has a mechanism underneath that allows you to just push up and then the table drops down. And um, underneath our stairs, we have some wonderful deep storage. Uh, we use this for our shoes, and then we've got baskets for the next two, and then we use the topmost one for books. Um, great, great storage. Coming up here, we have a door that we added a lock to. So if you are using this for children at all, it's safe, they can't come out, mostly if you have a child that doesn't know how to get down the stairs safely. It's really great for that. Coming upstairs, we have our main loft. We currently use this loft for our children, so it has two toddler size beds. However, this loft does fit a queen size bed and then also leaves room for storage. So if you have a queen size bed in here from about where the wall is and over would be empty still. So you could use that for storage as you prefer. And that is our wonderful main loft. Coming over here, we have some of our main storage in the tiny house. Um, these cabinets measure 16 inches deep by 19 inches wide. So they're really big and spacious. Um, same thing over here. And then underneath, they measure 16 inches deep, but 43 inches wide. Um, so really great storage. This is where we keep all of our clothes. This is where we keep the boys' toys. Um, yeah, just really awesome, awesome storage. I think that uh, this is the storage that if we didn't have, it would probably be really, really hard or just messy living in this tiny house. So this storage is really awesome. On top, we also have some more storage. We, again, use it for decoration, but if you bought storage um, bins or baskets, it's really deep, so you'd be able to fit a lot in there and you could definitely use it as more utilitarian storage if you needed more. Um, uh, our loft, this loft is the secondary loft, but it is where me and my husband sleep. It fits a full-size bed. And there's also a desk um, up there for my husband to work. So uh, he works from home. He wears noise canceling headphones. So while we can hear him, he cannot hear us. Um, so that works out really well. The way that you get up here is by just undoing those latches, the ladder bends and just swings right on down. And then I will take, I'll take them up. Going up to this loft. We have uh, my husband's desk and our wonderful cozy bed. There's two windows in this loft as well as the other loft. So you get a wonderful cross breeze. Some more storage that we have in the living space is right behind the couch um, underneath the, the countertops. There's three cabinets. You can't currently see all of them. The bottom two we use for wood and kindling, while the top one we use as more of a coffee table. Usually there is, as you can see, a mug of coffee as well as some books and our throw blanket there. Another great feature of this tiny house is that there are eight windows all directly across from each other. And so we get an amazing, amazing cross breeze um, when all of the windows are open or even just when any windows across from each other are open. Um, additionally, we have this amazing oscillating fan. It has three different speeds and it just kind of keeps air rotating throughout the house. Um, it's really wonderful in winter as well because it keeps the hot air that is rising from the fireplace um, kind of down here as well. So that's great. Um, that's our tiny house. We hope that you have enjoyed your tour and if you love it that you'll come see it for yourself. Thank you.